Well, lure color is probably one of the most discussed topics in the bass fishing world, and it also gets people super passionate. We all have our favorite colors and have colors that just give us so much confidence. Well, recently I've been thinking about my color choice a little bit differently. You know, a lot of the colors that we use are so similar to each other. When you take your green pumpkins and then you add in a little bit of purple or a little bit of blue or whatever it might be, you might have on the pegboard there for finesse worms at the store, you might have 20 different colors there and 15 of them are some variation of green, which is great. They're going to work. They're going to catch fish. But in reality, do those slight variations make as big a difference to the bass as we think they do? Well, I've really started to focus on something that a lot of science has talked about. And no, it's not what colors the bass can see. Contrast is so critically important to the vision of a bass. And contrast in the sense that it stands out from the background. Think of your particular body of water. You know, it might be a lake or a river that has a lot of vegetation. So the background that we're talking about could be a lot of greens. Maybe you've got a situation where you're in a rocky impoundment. So that background could be a lot of your grays and whites. So what are some lures that you can pick that is a strong contrast to that. Around here, that means that instead of throwing the green pumpkins all the time, which of course I do a lot of, I've started to use a lot more whites and chartreuses just because they stand out from that vegetation. They stand out from that background so much. As a matter of fact, in this shot right here, you can see four colors I've got down here on the lake bed. And just look how much the white and chartreuse stand out out it is incredible and i've had a lot of luck with these colors in situations when i would traditionally throw something like a green pumpkin or a watermelon red flake now don't get me wrong it doesn't mean i still don't have those lures tied on i've got that so ingrained in my head it's hard to put those away i'm thinking you know what if i can get that fish to notice that lure notice that movement at a little bit greater distance I know that they're curious. Bass are extremely curious. So I'm playing off of that behavior that it's going to bring them in. They're going to come in and investigate it. So as you're picking your lure colors, think about contrast. Here's another situation that I've really changed my thinking on. Let's say I'm fishing something right on the surface, a hollow body frog, for example. What I've seen now by observing underwater is that on bright sunny days, pretty much no matter what color frog you put on is backlit so it's got the silhouette right it looks pretty much black so i've started to on bright sunny days use solid black hollow body frogs i want to create that best defined outline that contrast to try to get it to stand out the best that i can and of course, success leads to confidence, right? Which is why we've all got our favorite colors and our favorite lures because we've had success with them and then we fish them more carefully because we are confident in them. So as you're out there fishing this particular season, think about this contrast as opposed to just color. How can you make that lure stand out from the background? And make sure that you let me know how it goes for you. Go ahead and drop a comment down below or go out and try it for a month or two and then let us know how it's going for you. And hey, if you'd like to watch a video that breaks down maybe some myths about bass and water temperature, go ahead and check this one out right here and make sure that you go out and encourage someone today. You never know how you might just change their life. For the Bass Fishing Life, I'm your host, Steve Rogers.